sorts of bits and so on. But I had white pearls in there as yes. well. Do you remember it? I do remember, yeah. And um, I made one for Lucy because she loved it so mm. much. And um, so then it gives it gives the pearls a completely different edge. Mm. You know, they, they, they stop being classical and become I mean. something much more edgy and modern looking. Because I suppose with the history of steampunk and the kind of age it was, you know, building up of the Industrial Revolution yeah. around the time of kind of those classical pearls would have been worn they in would, those absolutely days. Absolutely, they would have, as, as classical strands. Yeah, absolutely. But yes, sort of take, so pinching half a dozen and, and sort of dibbing them through your steampunk. Yeah. And that, I mean, those, they're a beautiful colour for oh, steampunk. Gosh, yeah, and definitely. Then, Mesh. Lovely. What size is How that? How do you one? feel about your 18 mil um, one meter mesh? Well, that's lovely, isn't it? it was, you, you could make, um, you know, like um, uh, Gemma makes the flowers in the rounds. Yes, I instead of them being rounds, you could, um, instead of being flowers, you could actually give the impression of them being. Oh, I'll tell you what, yeah, I'm, I'm designing it here on spot. Go ahead. Have the rounds, and then you could take the. Um, the head pins, the eye pins. And fasten, sorry the eye pins and fasten them in the middle and they could radiate out around um, in front and they would look like a, a cog or a gear or something. Funky idea. Be, yeah, make your own. Good, yeah. Great plan. Yeah. These are your steampunk colours. Your price should be twenty two seventy five. Not today. It is pretty much a kit we've got here it if is. we're honest you isn't it? It definitely is. Oh, today it? it's just Sixteen pounds and ninety-five pence for you. What do you think? When we first used to have mesh, yeah. it was sort of almost that price on its own, wasn't it? The Pretty big much. mesh, I think. Pretty much. And then we started getting it wrapped in our, you know, our, our, in our own um, packaging, and it was a, it was a lot less. But to begin with, I'm sure when we had it on shows, it was almost that on its own. And you've got the bronzite, which we hardly ever see. I haven't seen it for a while. No, really? and I love the fact that they haven't got, like you said, they haven't got the pointy ends. Yes. Because if they were, if they were pointy, um, they'd look more classical. As it is, you could make them, as I say, look more like, um, like rivets or. Mm. Yeah, I, I love, love that. It. I, I do love that little kit. Let's carry on with the demo then. Okay, fair enough. So I've been making the little balls. I, w I won't go mad and make make loads because you can see on the fish itself. Um, you know how I did those it's just another place to put things in different colors and so on so I'm going to take one of my um, little balls on the end here as well I'm going to press them down like so embossing tool that's what that's called mm -hmm. see I can remember a little bit I can remember uh, Harriet Beecher Stowe, but I can't remember that's called the name. Hey, it came to you, though. It came to you. did in the end. <laughs> okay, so um, we could make then, so you see, you've got places here that don't look very nice where we've joined them up. So again, we can make some, um, get my little doofus out again. We can make some rivets and that's the one I want. Um, yes. I'll have, um, what sort of colour shall I have? Let's have the darker pink. Cut out. Ooh, there was one in there already. So, catch those. You see, these are really useful for. Oh, sorry, I nearly fastened it on the wrong fit. Mm -hmm. Covering. That's it. Yes, if you've got ugly bits, put nice bits instead. Okay, um, and then I had a piece round here which was sort of like his gills. Mm. So let's, um, and then I can put on my big one. So let's have a piece like that for his gills. So you're just freehanding that? I'm just freehanding it because, um, because it doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to be neat, it needs to look. Um, as though he's a he's a machine, doesn't it really? But he's he's definitely a he's definitely a sort of funky machine, right? So this is going to go this way. I cut this off here, like so. Stick that on. But before I do, I'm going to get the other. Now the, these tools are really good. If anybody's got them on the on their desk from you know from doing 
um, the foil craft and so on they've got the they've got the ball on the one end and the, the cup on the other and so they it's just another way of making the the marks so I'm just going to press but not all the way through and then it looks like a a rivet see what I mean I sound yeah. a bit like a frog rivet rivet <sighs> sorry I'll go back to sleep <laughs> that wasn't very good <laughs> come here blade I'm going to fasten that on there, like so. Oh, I haven't left enough room for his eye. Leave enough room for his eye. Okay. Because his eyes are rather splendid. That's it. And then I had a, a big, a big one there. So I'll have a big one that looks like a. See, it's really great fun. It down there, I think, because there's no right or wrong with it. So let's make this one. Let's make this one a Phillips. A Phillips, yeah. And sometimes you can do a Phillips with a little tiny uh, one in the middle. And sometimes you can do one with a big one. And I've done the big one there. And let make these into the tiny ones then, like so. And then is I. So I used um, I used the t I used the bigger one of this for his eye. I might not I might not have room to do that there. I might have to use a smaller one. It doesn't matter. As I said, I didn't really make him as fat. So I'm going to put his eye in there, just behind his gills. And. What shall we do? Shall we put one of these on the top? Oops. One of these little ones on the top. It's really useful to have a pointy, pointy tool like this. Yeah. Like so. And then down the middle of there, I used um, one of the brads again. Okay. But it doesn't need to be. I can actually dib um, like that. Okay. And what I'll do there is I'll fill that with my stuff. Okay. So okay, then okay. I'm going to do some little holes along this one. Just to give it interest when we paint it. Okay, yeah. and then and then these ones here are uh, what did you call them again? Hinges. Hinges. See, so just checking. <laughs> but they're dead easy to make. All right. Okay. So again, it's just a strip of clay. And we'll make the one for the tail, I think, first. So. Like this and he's going to hinge his tail is going to hinge sort of this way right okay. so um, if you think about a hinge it's got the bit down the middle where it actually can move around yes so that's that one there and I'm going to put some little marks along there just because I can and then if I get my dibber again I can put some Marks I've got some um, Tim Holtz colours to squeeze in just now. Ooh, um, these are alcohol, alcohol inks. inks. What do you it. think of these? Oh, I love alcohol inks. I've Why? Well. What's it about? Well, be so because, much? because you could you can use those on the metal as well. Yes. You know, you said about the patina ring. Yes. That you can you, you can also use the alcohol inks on the metal as well, mm. and that will make it lovely colours as well. That's really nice. Um, it, they're also good on the bare metal. Yes. You can use them on the bare metal. Mm. Um, and obviously you can you can actually make your own colours into the clay. Mm. I would advise that you wear rubber gloves though with that if you're going to do that because they you know they will they will make you stain your fingers for a while. Yeah. But they they are fantastic. They are fab, aren't they? And for paper craft and yeah. 
all those sorts There's of things. There's loads of different things you yeah. can do with this. You can do it with paper, you can use it with metals, foil, glass, plastic. You can use this with your clays as well. Absolutely loads of it. Uh, you're getting three different colours in here. You're getting your espresso, you're getting your um, raisin, and you've got your pesto as well. Mm, they're beautiful colours. And they, when you mix those, they're really good at their packaging and putting the ones together that go nicely together. Um, I could imagine those on some of the things that you and um, you and um, Fiona were playing with yesterday into the cracks and whatever. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Because we they have go got, nicely together. They go really nicely together. Yes, the, we have got three colours in here. They're all five mil. They're going to last you ages. Oh, they do. And they dry quickly too. That's something I should have said. They dry really quickly Which too. Which is fab. It's and they're six ninety five. We just rolled the price down. <laughs> oh gosh, I didn't notice the price. Well, yeah, that is fabulous. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Because these are going to last you ages. Again, they do have those precision precision nozzles. Nozzles. You only use kind of a dab or two at a time, really, don't you? Yeah. And the clever thing about those as well is the same with the the, the pearls that we've got. Um, with that nozzle, when if you knock it over, and I'm notorious for that sort of thing, it doesn't spill out. Yeah. And you can leave the lid, lid off while you're working. You don't have to keep putting the lid back no. on because it's such a tiny hole. It doesn't dry up. Yeah, which is important. Isn't it, it? Well, it is, yes, because you don't always want to be stopping and putting the lids back on. Absolutely. So that's, time. You know, that's good, yeah. Six pounds ninety-five for you'd say for those three. I haven't looked those prices up, but I did look up this morning before I came oh, the price for the perfect pearls. Yeah, yeah. And most of those are at least two fifty each. Wow. Um, I've seen them on some um, auction sites yeah, yeah. for more than that. That's good, isn't it? But the price is about two twenty-five, two fifty each. So you imagine how many we've got in there. Six. So we've got seven bottles in That's there. Smart, isn't it? So that, that shows how good the, the value of this kit is. Is it? Yeah, really it really does. Right. So I've put in his eye. Um, You've done his hinge. I've done his hinge. Oh yes, I've just I've just made another fluty bit for his. Um, he needs a fin on the side. Okay, yeah. Oh, I right, see. so that's just a simple piece of cut that nasty rugged edge off and have another one. Um, he needs them to be small, I think. Like so. I love that ridgy tool. What do you call it again? Um, serrated. serrated, yes. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like that very much. It's really good. Yeah. Make that a bit thin shaped. I think that might be a bit long for the space I've got. So. It's up to you the look you want. I it suppose. is, it's yeah. It's the great thing about this. And what I did was I curled this up so it's actually got some dimension, this one. So curl it up, put it on to where it's going to go. There. So how do you get it to keep that bend? I just kept on doing it, if you see what I mean. Mm. I kept on making it stay, mm. and then when I cooked it, it still you can see there is a there is a gap underneath, mm. and it has stayed curly. I see. All right. Yeah, that's good. So that is good. And then we can have um, I don't know. I haven't really got uh, use um, room is what I'm trying to say for another big hinge. Okay. So I'll just have a a little one. his tail, I mean for his fin. Okay. Fit that on. Like so. So it looks as though he's um it's got a mechanical fin. Mechanical fins, exactly. Some de depressions again. And so that that's that's where we're going. Now what I would have what I did was um like with the dragonfly using the mica powders I put those on before I baked because they, they, they bake into the clay better that way. Mm -hmm. um, and if you see this is this really lovely, this really cerulean blue isn't it? Yeah, cool. I actually painted that um, loads of the powder, the blue powder that we had and um, water okay. and painted that on. So that's why that is... What was it? Oh, lots and p lots of powder. I mean, like a, a, a humpy, humpy brush full and a okay. drop of water. Okay. So it's quite thick. Okay, yeah. And then it makes the, the makes the colour come out more like a paint instead mm -hmm. of just being a, a blush a on wash, top. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then when it was baked, 
Um, so I will, I will do it now, but it, I'll pretend it's been baked. But you need to yeah. bake it first before you use the, the pearls, the liquid okay. pearls. Yes. Um, so, so that's that's what you need to do. So okay. I'll get those out, and yeah. I'll, I'll just move them down a little bit. That's okay. Don't worry, we'll be showing you how to use the liquid pearls on this in a bit as well. Yeah. We do have a message in about this fish for you, Frankie. All oh, right, yeah, okay. That? It was, it was. I can't remember who it was from. We can't find it now, but it essentially said, "Oh, we have found it." Joanne in Shropshire, your fish is beautiful, Frankie. How much would you sell that piece for? Great show, girls. Oh, thank you, Smiley Joanne. Face. That's really nice. How much would I sell it for? I don't know. I mean, it's it's fun to do, but I mean, it's it's quite fiddly. It's a bit time consuming. So although you don't use much clay, you are actually going to be looking at more of your time. And so, I don't know, what would you say? About £10, something like that? What, for that fish necklace? Well, not if you've got the garnet on it. Yeah. If you've got, for, for the the piece, right, sorry, uh, Joanne, yeah, for the whole piece with the garnet on it, oh gosh, well I said I'd pay sort of £14, £15 pounds for the garnet, didn't mm -hmm. I? So that would have to be in excess of £20, pounds, I think, wouldn't it, for the garnet? Well, yeah, easily. And especially for, you, for your time and everything else put into it. Yeah, fab. You see, I, I unlike a lot of the other designers, I don't actually sell a lot of mm -hmm. my jewellery. Mm -hmm. Having said that, tomorrow I've got a commission for a friend of mine. Fab. Um, yeah, so that's, that's really nice. But I, I don't sell many of my pieces, yeah. so I'm not really that experienced at what, what to ask for. Mm. Um, and I suppose, again, it depends where you live, because in some places you can ask more, Definitely. can't you? Yeah, um, and you where you're selling too. Yes, exactly. So, well. Exactly. So, Right, so I've, I've decided that that, I don't like the top of that, what's it, so I'm going to cut a little bit off it. It's just a bit too tall. I think that's better. And what I, d I did that before with the other one, and then what I did was I took one of the pieces and I stuck it the other way up I think how did I do it I mean like that so it stuck up a bit I didn't want to do another angler fish because I'd already done that but I did I did like the idea of the angler fish so, yeah, so that see. was that was a nod to it do you remember the you remember the angler fish absolutely do yeah so there we are. So perfect pearls then. And this this um, garnet, well, I just loved it. I mean, I've used it on just about all the pieces. It's, it's really lovely. Um, so if if you imagine for me that I've actually, you can see here, it's dusted out with the. Um, I've put them away now, otherwise I'd do it. But it's dusted out with the mica powders first, and then right down. Can you? Let me point to it. Right down into here, I use the liquid pearls so that then they're really heavy. Can you see that? Can you see where I mean? Just here. Would it be better if I lifted it up? Would it be better if I lifted it up? Yeah, Derek says you can if you like. Okay. I'm looking at this bit here. So I dusted the, the mica powders first but before it was baked. Yeah. And then I went into... Um, the very edges of where I was with the liquid pearls. Yes, you can see that better now, look. Yeah, I see. See, into there. And then the same, the same um, onto here. I got, I got the, the um, mica powders first and then I dotted the uh, liquid pearls on there. So let's pretend that he's cooked baked. He's, he's baked. He's definitely baked. He's been, he's he's been a baked fish. He's been in tough and how long are we in baking oven. him for? I, I usually bake my pieces for, I, I've got my halogen oven and it, it's really good because it's about, I can put it on about 130 mm. and I usually, for a piece like this it's quite flat but it has got, it has got several layers so I would give it the 15 minutes. Fat. Okay, yeah. So I probably Give it 12 to begin with on the timer and then have a look and probably give it another couple of minutes right. afterwards. So it takes about 15 minutes because it's got several different layers and you have to make sure they're, 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 they're baked. Yes. So, as Becky said... Ooh. Have you oh, just I've got done, some of that I've on the macrame board? I have, I've done it. Oh, you it. absolute mare. Will you like eh? That's my, th that's my third mistake, isn't it? No, it's not. It gonna I'm not it? counting that as a mistake. Oh, good, thank you. You're just showing how versatile it is. <laughs> is it, going, it goes on your macrame board if you want yeah, to. Yeah, if you want to decorate it. it. 
I'm ever so sorry, Becky. Don't be silly. Right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go into these little bits here into where I made these indentations. These do you remember? Mm. So because they've got little holes in. Ooh. Filling up those little wells. Little wells. Oh, they look like little cherries on top of cake. I'm sorry that one dribbled. You let me off. See, if I was at home, I wouldn't like that. So I'd take it off and just do another little, do another little round yeah. one. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's yeah. just, nothing's lost. Yeah. Nothing's lost. And then um, I think what I'll do is have a... Well, if it was baked, you can even just wipe it off, couldn't yeah. you? Um, yes, but it, this, this, this garnet is such a lovely colour. It's got such a lot of depth to it. Yeah. I think it might actually stay in the white clay, as it has stained the wood. Mm. But don't tell anybody. I won't tell. I'm not saying well, anything. Well, you'll know. You'll keep a secret, won't you? You won't tell. You won't tell. <laughs> right. So you're going in now with the. I'm going in with the black. That black. Yeah, I could do with a little pokey thing. A thing for a po Oh, yeah. A pokey tool. Yes, a little pokey tool. I've just got a little dry end, I think. No, that's going to be too flat to go in there. Do you know what goes down here really well? Fill me in. A piece of beading thread. Hey! Yeah. Something new for everything, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Let's try again. Yeah, and there we go. And so um, I'm going to go in his eye. I'm going to give him a big black eye. Sounds painful, that. Yeah, he's having a big black eye. So they're going to... Sorry, I can't squeeze very well. Be so he's, he's still a bit stuck. Come on. Talk about yourself. You do know that that's just going to go any minute now. Well, <laughs> yes. I do, Becky. I do. You're right. Um, poke your tool. And we poke your tool again. See, that won't go all the way. If you had a piece of beading thread, it goes right into the bottom end. Surely. It, this is jewellery maker. We have something like that around. Yeah. Hey, I know. What about a tea pin? Is it is it fat? Let's see if the tea pin will go in. No, it's too fat. Oh, that's why I said beaded thread is. What a nightmare. I know. Oh. Oh. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. Oh, it's coming! It's coming! It's coming! Oh, I'm such a weakling, Becky. Do you want me to have a go? I probably won't be able to either, though, love, because. <gasps> Let's just a... scoop a little bit. A little bit of a scoop into the centre. Look at that. That's better. Meh. That's <laughs> eye poppingly good. <laughs> she is lovely. Anyway, yeah. don't do that at home. No. But, but no. if you do, don't worry because. Because you can take just it take off it off and put, and put it on again. Yes. Yeah. Fab. Be professional, <laughs> no, it's your being professional, it's me that's not <laughs> Love right. It. So, what else do you want me to show you about that? Oh, this one I painted it all over, so oh, I, yeah. put, I put some of the put some of this one, yeah, on the side. What? That's not going to come out either. No, I should have done that. See if there's okay. ruffle, anyway. I love a bit of ruffle. Do what? Ruffle. Ruffle or waffle? Ruffle. What? Ruffle. What's ruffle? Roll on floor laughing. Oh, yes. R nice one, Becky. Ruffle. <laughs> Sue, no one even noticed. <laughs> no. There's no need for I that. I didn't there? notice. I no. Did you notice? Did you notice? No, you didn't no. notice either, no. Have you know my own spank. Sort of this. <laughs> no, it was stuck. I'm like, do you know, that's really stupid because I haven't got anything that I can stick down there. Hang on. A bit of wire in there. Come here, we can do this. Look at this. What about a bit of 0 0.4? Yeah, go on then. Go on then. I only need right. a tiny bit. Yeah, yeah, but we'll just, oh, just it in. Oh, yeah. right. Take the lid off. Help. Take the lid off. It does. See there you that. go. Just to let you know that we've got lots of people with this uh, still in the basket, so feel free to check out when you get the opportunity to do so. Right. 
mind yourself on that. No problem at all. I will. So I'm going to put some on the. There you go. Look, you see, you just need something that will go right down the bottom. Yeah. Get my paintbrush. So you're going to put this on then much thicker when you're doing it this way. Can you see? Oh, so you actually painted it on. I yeah. thought it was mine because you'd done that side. No, no, I didn't know that. I left this white and then I actually painted it on really thickly. So, Fantastic. So that's, you know, it's, that's really good. But the best bit about this whole fish is his eye. Definitely. I, I'm going to agree with you there, Frankie, to be yeah, honest. Definitely. I think so too. Yeah, it's the most eye-catching. Most eye-catching bit. <laughs> Yeah, definitely is. <laughs> Thank you so much for okay. showing us that, Frankie. Um, if you need my help again, you know where I am. Yes. Um, <laughs> how's your challenge going? We haven't uh, even launched that yet. It's not too bad. Um, I'm getting there. What are we doing after the break, Phil? Strands and challenge. See you in a bit. creative with Mark Smith with his craft fair DVD. Mark guides you through six sections of fascinating techniques that sell the best on his very own successful craft fairs. He concludes this DVD by sharing his own tips and hints that make his own stalls very popular. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call center on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker is your one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Our mission is to provide you with the best quality products, value for money, and excellent customer service. Come and learn with us. Tune in every day from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Come and join Jewelry Maker on Facebook and get involved with over 50,000 people who have liked us. You'll get up-to-date information about our channel from the latest images of designs by our fantastic guests. Gossip on what is coming up in the shows and the newest information on our workshops. You can get in contact with jewellery makers all over the world and get some fantastic hints and tips. Simply search Jewellery Maker in the search box or go to facebook.com forward slash Jewellery Maker UK and you're there. You don't even need to have a Facebook account. We can't wait to see you there. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back to the last hour or so of the Design Inspiration. My name is Rebecca Reddick and I'm joined by Frankie. Just going to have a swig of my tea. Oh, sorry, love. That's okay, I don't mind. You're right, hon. Yes, I'm fine now, I'll stop giggling. Good. <laughs> After I made that piece something special. Um, I'm going to launch your challenge now. Talk okay, to me, then. please, about these, this stunning duo. It's just lovely. I, I mean, I haven't seen it for a long time, this stone, and I've certainly not ever seen it in the tiny beads and the, um, 
the little are they barrels or yeah, they are kind or what? Of yeah I've, no, I've never seen it that shape before mm. ever no it's lovely it is absolutely gorgeous to see road tonight like this isn't it it's so so beautiful um Rhodonite is just a stunning gemstone. Um, it is very, very rarely seen um, here at Jewelry Maker, um, especially in forms like this, as we've said. Three mil on your faceted rounds. You've got your waist bead shapes, we're described as. 12 by 6 mil. 140 carats worth on there. 20 carats worth on the three mil rounds. You've got your Rhodonite Delight here both beautifully workable strands I think and the fact of the matter is we don't get these on here very often at all you've got that salmon tone juxt oh 9.95 is your price point oh that's wonderful it really is so pretty it's really pretty because I'm not really I, you know I like bright colors and red and what I mean I'm black today but I do like bright colors but that pink is is salmony it's not not baby pink it's really lovely it's grown it? up isn't it it's, yes uh, yeah it's, it, that's a good description mm. yeah love it really what are you going to do with these then i know you've already started but yeah give us a clue. well there's a bit well there's a bit of a theme going from ah. the first uh, inspiration that's all i'm going to say clocks no it's wings not yeah i got it got it <laughs> wings i've got it but look at the shapes yeah and the thing yeah, body and and then wings on the little wire. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. So that's to the see one. That. That's what I've started on. I, I'll see where I go from there. All right. Are you going to add the clappers on or whatever they're called? Claspers. Claspers. Mm. Yes, it's already done. The body's oh, already it? done. Yeah. It? Yeah, the claspers are already on. Flying away today. Ten in your baskets. I'm being told by my producer. Nine ninety five for you for both of these strands. It's beautiful. These are the baby pinks you were talking about. Hello. Oh, hello. It's, they're all tied together. Wait a minute here. Talk amongst yourselves. There we go. Rose Quartz. Three words. Frankie Gaywood. Go. Delicate. Um... They don't have to be alliterative, do they? No, they don't. Okay. Um, delicate. Um, I'm stuck. You don't get away with it that easily, Frankie. Oh. You and I both know that. Can I go delicate two five? No, <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> You can't Some get the stuff. people. You can't get the stuff, can you, Bex? Can't, can you? <laughs> okay. Delicate, uh, I like, definitely, because they're a very delicate, delicate colour, aren't they? They are. Um, the one's quite clear, is it? Clarity. Clarity. That's a good one. Yes. And um, desirable. Here's some suggestions. Elizabeth's trying to help Thank you out. You, Delightful or delicious. Thank you, Elizabeth. I'm glad Jenny, you came. Jenny, she's as well. helping. Sexy and feminine. Yeah. Jenny, I love yeah, that. That's good, Jenny. Brilliant. Very good. Sexy and feminine. You see, better than the... delicate two five, isn't it? <laughs> I had to try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I'm very trying. I know. <laughs> um, they are. You're absolutely, absolutely right. Say that again. Pardon. What are you saying? Let's have a look at the shapes we get. Barrels, drops. What's good about a barrel and a drop? Well, they would be lovely together because you could do the sort of thing that I, I mentioned earlier. You could have, but I, I think I would probably make most of the necklace with the barrels. And then you could have those drops sort of coming down in, in, on chain perhaps. Um, strung from the necklace, sort of in in, um, in varying lengths. So that would be pretty, wouldn't it? I think so. Anyway. I love that idea. Yeah. Price for both strands. I'm 
Right. That changed quickly. That changed very quickly. quickly yeah. Should be twelve pounds ninety as we've all just seen, but it's not. It's under ten. It's a fantastic set for for your stash, isn't it? Even if you can't even if you haven't got a use for them immediately. You know, that, that's, that's sort of a price for two strands. You can't go wrong, can you? Can you? Have a look again, love. Oh, he's done it again. Well, oh, he's he, only gone and done it again. Done it again, Phil. Phil! Oh, looking. No, well, in that case, definitely a, 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 um, a bead box filler. Isn't it? Mm. It will be silly not to. Definitely. At that point. That's what Ed would call an add it to your order price, I think, yes? You're right. Six pounds and ninety-five pence for you today. Loads in baskets. Too many to mention. Uh, rose quartz duo we have here. You've got your barrels and you've got your plain drops. Hello, Mary. Hello, Raymond and Phyllis. Oh, hey, I'm seeing my grandma Phyllis tomorrow. That'll be nice. I know, yeah. Pre-birthday get-together with me gran. We're going to go out for dinner. Love seeing me grandma and granddad. They're dead lovely. They're so, so nice. Your, um, birthday, your birthday, Becky. Yes, yeah, my birthday on Friday. Oh, right. Mm, right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you've got loads of you coming in for this. Hello to everybody. I know. What an absolute bargain. Look. Got a good quantity, did you say, Philip? 130 in total. Well, that's obviously not the case now. We're going down now. Oh, people are putting twos, aren't they? In aren't they? Yeah. Aren't they? Absolutely. What would you do with these, Brother Pete? <laughs> yeah, what would you do? I love that whenever I ask you a question, the first thing you do all the time is repeat, repeat my question. question. <laughs> it's pressure. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. This morning, I really upset Brother Pete. First thing this morning, he walked in. Really cruel. Ben's off today, and that man we was yesterday, and, and that means that Pete has to do the jobs of two people. He has to do his own job, and he has to tech up as well. So he's packing up boxes, handing things out whilst he's trying to get camera angles and everything else. So Ben was Ben was off yesterday, and we were hoping he'd be in today. And I went to Pete this morning. Hey, Pete, Ben's back today. And he went, oh, yes, I can't believe it. And I went, not really. He went, why would you do that? <laughs> You weren't, you weren't shocked, were you, sweet bait? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought I was being funny until I saw that puppy dog disappointment <laughs> just kind of wash over your face. Bless I'm you. sorry, sweet bait. Let's leave this one because it's going to sell out. Sapphire now on the tea bar. Really delicate, high-end sapphire, beautiful array of colours here. Really stunning array. Delicate, really, really delicate. It's nice to have such a delicate array sometimes, isn't it, Frankie? It is, and that's my birthstone. Oh, is it? Yeah. I love well, sapphire. What do you like of sapphire? Well, until I, until I found Jewelry Maker, I only ever knew there was blue. Yeah. Um, which I think a lot of people are similar. Oh, yeah, I can agree with you on um, that. Yeah, I think a lot of people do. So, or originally, it was the blueness of the blue, if that makes sense. I know. That I really mean. liked. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. But these ones, they are delicate, aren't they? They're, they're very pretty. What would you do with it? I think that would be lovely if you made um, a shape. And I, I, I don't know what shape, I haven't got it in my head yet, but if you made a shape in wire yeah. and then you wrapped them, because I think the um, I think the four mil would probably go through the holes. Yeah. You wrapped them on round the shape that you'd made. I'm not sure the 0.4 would. I don't would want to not? say that for well, sure. 0.25 two, two probably 0 .25 would then. will. Or you could use, would the... Um, would the skinny head pins, you know... Yeah, the, the feather lights. The, the feather lights would go through there, perhaps. So you could you could you know wrap them on with, with the feather lights or something. Mm. Good idea. Just add in that little bit of sparkle. Yeah. Wouldn't it? Um, when we're looking at sapphire, we really are looking at these beautiful kind of regal royal effects. Big pie shop on this one as well. I'm being told. Pardon. Should be fifty pounds. 
We're going to 3495. Gosh, that is a big drop. That's yeah. a really big price drop. Yeah. How big of a price drop is that? Very. Fifteen pounds. Gosh, yeah. What do you think to that, Frankie? I think it's wonderful. And the thing is with um with the sapphires, I mean they are one of the big everybody knows sapphires, don't they? Um and so, you know, to have those in your stash. You've always got something for, you know, September birthday like mine or whatever. Yeah, always. I wouldn't throw them out. <laughs> if that's not a recommendation, I don't have a clue what is. I would not throw them out. <laughs> so don't forget to get your... Uh, this gemstone comes with an authenticity card Ooh, if right. you... Tick the box. Right. So it won't, it won't necessarily instantly come with one. When you're online, tick the box or ask for one. Um, you can get it on a printed card if you want. Um, it's only 50p and it's a proper sort of printed out, kind of laminated S card. Or if you call 0800 644 655, then the call centre can help you out with that as well, if you want them to. Four of them sat in baskets, says Phil. And I presume that's a nod or a little wink wink, hint hint, you've just saved 15 pounds, so check them out, everyone. Ooh, who said this? What? Has your mum been texting in again? <laughs> Give Pete a rise. <laughs> a rise. A rise. What does that mean? Higher, higher platform shoes? That'll give you a little rise, won't it, sweet? <laughs> I think she means raise, does she? Yeah. yeah. Give me the top three reasons you should have a raise in 20 seconds. If you can do it, I'll put in a good word. On your marks, get set, go. Well, well I think today is a testament to that, for a start. <laughs> and now we have it on record. <laughs> Seven seconds. Um, and... and just because I'm so good and, and so funny. <laughs> and you're good at... There you go. Good and funny? Yes. That doesn't make for a raise. It does. Funny. It does in my world. It does in my world. All right. I'll, I'll get on to uh, the management about that then. Well, he is extremely funny. That, that'll be what I'll go for. What are you saying? Jenny's two, Jenny's three word review earlier for the rose quartz was sexy and feminine. And P Phil wants to know, do you think they apply to Pete? <laughs> I couldn't possibly say, because he is my brother. And that would be awkward. Yeah. Yes, not, not your sister then. <laughs> 34 95 <400. laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Sorry. That's fickled. Oh, Tickle Peter. Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Have a little look. Multi gem strand. I've never oh, seen this dear. before in my life. <laughs> you, you just got heckled by Frankie. That was AIDS. <laughs> have a little look at these multi gem oh, rounds Sorry. that we have here. Multi-gem rounds. Well, what are we talking about here? We're talking about a mixture of gems in a round shape. Eight mil. They're all from Brazil and they're all totally natural. That's the main focus of this. What have we got in here? Well, colour-wise, clarity-wise, the fact it's from Brazil. I'm saying we've got lemon, quartz, We've got kind of um, amethyst-esque tones as well, haven't we? Frankie, what would you do with this strand? Well, these ones, you need to be able to let the light shine through. So the first thing I would think of would be earrings. You'd probably, 8 mil, um, you'd probably do three of those um, as a drop. Um, definitely, because you've got enough to either have all the same colour in the, in the in the pair haven't you or you could have three different ones yeah three different colours three different, three different colours. gems yes. yes um lovely bracelet oh yeah lovely bracelet mm. oh you yes. just as it is like that 
not not you know not messed about with because it's beautifully um, colour coded, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it is. So you've got that kind of colour graduation yeah, done to it. That's right. You can um, you can get oh you could get three bracelets out of this, couldn't you? There's one bracelet. There's two bracelet. Yeah, you could get three out of this. Yeah. Yeah, you could definitely. Brilliant. Well, for my sparrowists. <laughs> Get them off my dad. Nine ninety five. They are today. Does he want them back? Oh, oh wait, they're not nine ninety five. We're going down again, are we? Oh, do you know? I think he's compu I think Phil. I think your computer's stuck on six ninety five today, babe. I don't know if anybody's told you, but it's stuck. Turn it off and on again, love. That that <laughs> always fixes stuff. Yeah, change your cable. That'll do. Change your cable. <laughs> $6.95 pence. <laughs> Brilliant. That is absolutely a star. Hello, everyone. You're all flying in. Absolutely flying in for these, unsurprisingly at all. It's gorgeous to have such an array and such a selection. Mark Smith bought three last time he was on, Philip says, with these ones. Big fan of colour matching, uh, Mark Smith. Good way of getting on with this rounds for cheap, um, Phil's saying. I like that idea, yeah. It is, isn't it? Wonderful. Gorgeous array of colours and loads of you coming in. Apparently 15 of you with it in your baskets. Do make sure you're checking out everybody. Um, because uh, if you don't check out, essentially, just in case you are new to us and you're not sure, um, if you don't check out and we sell out, then um, you're basically just saying you've got a wish list. You're essentially saying, I like the look of these, but they're not yours until you properly check them out. So do make sure you do so uh, when you get the opportunity to. Um, is this the kind of strand you'd go for, Frankie? Yes, it is, definitely. Um, I do like the idea of the bracelet um, mm. because, in fact, if you can do two, three bracelets, would you have enough for a bracelet and a necklace to go? Probably, I, if you I maybe knotted you, in between or something. Yes, yeah, so, or if you put a little spacer. spacer or, yeah. or chain at the back. Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah. be lovely, wouldn't it? Real pretty. Have a set, yeah. Yeah, love that idea. Really, yeah. really pretty. Multi-coloured sapphire. The price is going to be low. Sapphire. Multi-coloured sapphire. Seventy-five carats worth of your multi-coloured sapphire we have here. This is absolutely and completely natural. The great thing about this being natural is you don't get any of those lead bubbles in there. You don't get <clears throat> you don't get any um, kind of need for these to be kept away for a long period of time via you know irradiation. Obviously, we we'll lock them up for kind of. Well, minimum three months can be up to three years, actually, depending on how much we shoot at them with the uh, gamma rays. Um, these haven't been injected with anything. They haven't had heat applied to them to give us a colour that we kind of um, maybe would be looking for or would desire. This is just Mother Nature. She's done a really good job, hasn't she? Really good job. Um, what do you think of these ones, Frankie? I love them because they've got a very different nature to the ones we've just had, haven't they? You know, they're a different sort of gem altogether. Yeah. So, and I also, as I say, like I said about the bronzite, with that sort of a gem, I like the idea that they ha they've got rounded tops instead yeah. of the pointed ones, mm. because um, you w you wouldn't need to do the briolet sort of wrap on those if you didn't want to. That is because mm. you you know you wouldn't need to protect the the um, pointy top. Absolutely. So they would be lovely. Um, I quite like that shape with three um, strands of beading thread mm -hmm. and um, sort of plaited so you've got you know you've got some on each one and then plaited over so they, 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 they sort of come and go on the strand does that make does that make I sense? I know exactly yeah. what you mean you're not going to believe 
the price shop I'm about to do. I mean you're not. Price drop it. It's going down. Bye. Bye. See you later. Not interested. Nah. Bored. Yawn. <laughs> the go. No. Bit more. Bit more. Let's not mess about here. Come on. <laughs> Get to your point. Eleven pounds and oh, ninety-five God. pence for you on this today. That price point is astonishing. That is absolutely amazing. These were these were nearly, these were five pence off. Twenty-eight pounds. We've just taken them to eleven pounds and ninety-five pence. Do you know what that means? Better than half price on sapphire, natural, real sapphire, real deal, untreated, unirradiated, unfilled. Um, there's no doublets, there's no triplets in here whatsoever. This is just pure sapphire at eleven pounds and ninety-five pence. Everybody uh, almost is a multi-buyer so far, pretty much. Um, do check out your basket on those. You're all coming in very, very quickly. I did give you a heads up that these were going to be an amazing price. I did give you a heads up. They are flying out. Um, lowest ever price. Possibly the lowest, one of, ish the lowest prices of natural sapphire I've ever seen at that yeah. lower price. What about you, Frankie? Yeah, definitely. You can't imagine being able to buy sapphire for that. <gasps> and it's wonderful to have in your stash because, you know, as I said with, with the other strand, you've always got it then if people want, you know, want you to make a... Um, something for a, a commission for um, a birthday or whatever. Mm, something you know, special. A, yeah, something special. A special occasion. Yeah, can you, you know, can you imagine being able to work with, with real sapphire? Can you imagine on Mother's Day, waking up in the morning, your kids running around, giving you your breakfast, probably slightly burnt toast, that's what I used to give my mum for breakfast on Mother's Day, um, and then, you know, handing across a, a, being handed a sapphire pair of earrings, or a sapphire bracelet, or a sapphire ring. How amazing is that going to be to receive? Now think how other people are going to feel when you make them something and give it to them. But the fact of the matter is, this entire strand, it's just 11.95. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 17, 18, 9, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Oh, me lucky number. It's my birthday, that. 27 sapphires I've got, so. Definitely a game. Wait for this. Sorry, 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 sorry. Wait for this. I'm waiting. I'm waiting with bated breath. What do you think of sapphires? Yes. For 55p per one. Is that what it works out? No, it's not. It's 44p. Good grief. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It is. About, obviously, you might have more, you might have less. That 44 is That's the price of a... You, you couldn't get two Freddos for that. No. And that's basically half a mouse full of chocolate. Definitely. Gone in seconds. These will last a lifetime. People know these. There are other frog-shaped uh, chocolates available. Are there? Probably. Perhaps. Can't think of any. The Harry Potter ones. Yeah, that's yeah. one. Well done. That one. Other wizards <laughs> are available. <laughs> Merlin, for example. He was a good one. Gandalf. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Did he make chocolate bar of chocolate frogs? I can't remember. Put in. Chocolate bar. Chocolate. Sorry, Frankie. Did what Gandalf do chocolate frogs? I can't Gandalf, no, no, he wasn't into the chocolate frogs. No. Although, who knows? Maybe he was. Eleven ninety-five. not many of them left. They're brilliant, they are. Yeah. Oh, wow. Let's add some light to your life right now. Some days, you just need a little bit of light, don't you? Some days, you just need a bit of light, you need a bit of brightness, um... And, you know, I'm, I'm constantly kind of the optimist. But even now and again for me, you know, on dark days, you can do with a bit of brightness and a bit of light. You've got it in this gemstone because it is one of the most fluorescent of all gems. It's fluorite. The workmanship on this is 
almost unimaginable actually because let's face it we're looking at this and we're thinking right they're, they're playing oval so surely the workmanship on this isn't that hard and perhaps on something like quartz then and then it wouldn't be but due to the high degree of fluorescence um, within this the lapidists have to really appreciate the gems um, reflective index um, which is a I think it's around a 1.4 I want to say um, which means that essentially it slows the light down faster uh, even more than, than a diamond so it reacts with the light in a way and that's why well one of the reasons you get this kind of gorgeous glow in there but to be able to get that glow essentially it increases the importance of the angle at which you're cutting this and creating this so if you're imagining the lights entering at say the, the smallest part of this gemstone so the thinnest part um, so the way the light inter um, in interacts going through that direction is very different to how the light interacts going at the longest point and and because of that the lapidists have you know a triply hard job when cutting these shapes because if they cut them slightly wrong or perhaps the axis isn't quite right for these you wouldn't be getting any of this glow at all you wouldn't be getting any of that glow or appearance because of the shape that's why a lot of the time when we get these you'll get um you'll get things like your rounds in there a lot of the time and um, you'll get kind of even shapes with this if that makes sense you'll get a lot of rounds you'll get a lot of um, squares of these but very unusually will you get something that's so dramatically more elongated um, so you know an 11 mil in some points than it is the thickness of it the width of it so just seven mil it's a big big dramatic difference and that means that the lapidists have had to work so much harder to get this internal glow within the gemstone um, because essentially it's, it's imperative that you get your angle correct within that or else these will just look dead they'll look dull there'll be no light binding through them at all and there is absolutely loads of it you're getting light and freshness and fluorescence bounding through this gem so so much um, if you do want to add a little bit of light to your um, collection do so now for just six pounds and 95 pence <laughs> I tell you the computer's stuck definitely stuck on six stuck stuck definitely stuck what do you think of that price I think it's wonderful they're beautiful I love fluorite as well and when you get all those lovely stripes you know there are so many colors in there that you can and they're looking really spring like from here that you could wear them with anything really couldn't you yeah, absolutely. What would you wear these with? Anything. <laughs> Sorry. Anything. Anything. Oh, Anything. Oh, no. <laughs> Anything or nothing. It's just carrying on that. Yeah, that's what I said. What about it? These are absolutely sensational, aren't they? Six <laughs> ninety-five for you. Uh, Sixty-five carats worth. Well done. Smoky quartz, double strand, two strands. You like smoky quartz, don't you, Frankie? I do. Tell me for why. Because it's it's. Sometimes black can be a bit harsh, if mm. you, you know, and so the smokiness of the quart, of the smoky quartz and the sort of browny tones are just a bit softer sometimes. Oh, that's that's really why I like them. Mm. Absolutely, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Phil wants to know why this is the national gemstone of Scotland. I can tell you if you like. Well, it used to be mined there. It used to be mined there initially, um, essentially. And also, um, in the days of Queen Victoria, it was her favourite gemstone. And with her house that she used to have in Scotland, she had a whole room dedicated um, to citrine and to smoky quartz. Mm, so that's one of the reasons. It's known to the National Stone of Scotland. Um, of course, ours isn't from here. Ours isn't from there. I don't think there's any yields coming out of the ground anymore. I think it's kind of, you know, a long past history. Um, but we have got two strands of beautiful smoky quartz here. Uh, you've got the Brazilian strand, which is the nuggets. Nuggets? No. Have I got the wrong pair in here, sweet pea? Nuggets, wow, blimey, look at them. They're quite an, a, quite a regular looking nugget, aren't they? Mm. They are beautiful. Look at the way the lights, it just 
having a whale of a time within this gemstone, isn't it? <laughs> Frankie, yes. where have you gone? Well, the seat. <laughs> <laughs> the seat's gone down and I had to sit down for a minute. Was this disaster, sorry. But I was tired. I wanted to sit down on the seat. Because the seat, your seat just collapsed a bit as it sweeps. Yeah. Oh shit, we'll sort it out for you in a bit, love. Um, bring your prize in. <laughs> oh dear. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence for you. Oh, look at him coming in like a knight in shining armour. He's after that rise. He's after that rise, isn't he? If he can, if you can raise the chair, then you can get a rise. There you go. There you go. Is it going to stay this time? I hope so. Here to help. Is it going to stay? Right. Is it going to stay? You're going to watch thing. me in case I fall over. I'm gone. No, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, is it staying? Yeah. Yeah, it's staying. Perfect. Thank you, Becky's brother Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Look, is my brother not me groupie? No, I said Becky's brother Pete. Oh, he's a groupie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Seven ninety five for you today. Well done. I'm messing Ryan about something chronic. <laughs> oh, bless. No, no problem. I just think he needs the exercise. <laughs> Right, red, oh, red eye gate, orange eye gate. Center drill drops. What do we like about center drill drops? Apart from how it sounds when you say it fast, center drill drops, center drill drops. Well, because you, you can really, you, it sounds ridiculous, but you, you can really get a, a drop down through with a, with a head pin um, easier than in some other ways, really. For example, kind of your top drilled. Yes. Mm. So the top drilled, you need to be able to wrap it around somehow. But with these ones, you just drop the, the head pin through. Yeah. We've got some lovely head pins, either just the ball ends or, or the, um, the, you know, the, the specialist one we mm. do, yeah. So you just drop the head pin down and then you can hang it from a chain or you can, um, you can roll it around and put it on a, on a bracelet or something as a charm. So they're, they're easier to, to, um, to drop. Yeah, no, that is a good point to make though, it really is, because it can be a bit of a faff sometimes with certain shapes, but these ones are so much easier. Great for beginners for that reason. These are your puffy drops, 20 by 15, and that's not all you're getting. You're also getting these lovely hearts. Oh. 14 mil on those hearts. They just go beautifully, don't they? I love, love your, ah, oh, why ah, oh, Frankie? Because it's such a delicate color, isn't it? Um, and are they just a bit smaller? So they look a yeah. little bit lighter um, and they almost look like amber to me when you first put them over your, your, your Hey, hands. you're not wrong. The hearts. You know what I mean? Would they go nicely with that? You are not wrong, Frankie. Oh, yeah, look at that, yeah. This the is coming that, in at the bottom of your them, screen if you still want it. Sorry, I was enough. just going to no, say, the way that some of them have taken the dye more than others, that really even looks more like amber. You're right. Yeah. You know, they're not they're all, all a bit different. Yes, they're all different. So it, it's, um, it, it's even more of a, of a strand that looks like amber. Should be at four pounds, £14.90. Pounds it's not today, though. We're going to take it down. For 480 carats worth of your orange agate, your price? £7.95 for you on that today. What do you think of that? That's brilliant too, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, all, of these, all of these ones are, are definitely added to your stash. Oh yes. Because they're, you know, even if you can't use them straight away, if you haven't got any ideas with them straight away, they're just, they're just so lovely and so, such a pretty colour. Yeah. And that's going to be an in colour, I think, isn't it, for the for the summer? Mm. The um, that and the, and the lovely turquoise colour, mm. which is always in, isn't it? And yeah. The two of them together be gorgeous. Gorgeous together. Because it's sort of, it's sort of almost carnelian colour as, as well, isn't it? Mm. You not think? far off at all. Yeah, not mm. far off. Not far off. Um, Seven pounds and ninety-five pence. Hello, people. Let's move on. Jewelry maker's favourite strand, Labradorite. 
There we go. They're pretty. Oh, unusual, really unusual to get your marquee shapes, isn't it? Isn't it? Let alone of quality such like this. Labradorite always reminds me of the location in which they were named after. It always reminds me of Labrador. Now, I have been to Labrador far too many times to mention. Far too many times. Yeah. I used to work on a cruise ship. So I've been there like, oh, oh twice a week for about six months um, so I've been loads and loads now Labrador is is, is um, in Canada and it is a beautiful kind of fishing port it's really pretty but it's got this kind of um, it is always quite cold it was always quite grey around the time we were going but it has all of these beautiful kind of fishing museums and things like that um, in the port area and this always reminds me of it because you get that kind of foreboding sky grey but then you get this flash of the blue just spanning through and you get gold in these ones as well what do you like about labradorite frankie oh, what's not to like um it you know it's one of the very first stones that i ever bought that i didn't know before i came before yeah. i started buying from from jewelry maker yeah um and when i got it home i just was mesmerized but you know over the time lots of people have said it over the time our labradorite has got even better quality better and, and better. so although i look back on a, you know things i made in labradorite then yeah and i look at what i've got now i mean the the fire inside is just beautiful it's that labrador it's essence yeah, it's isn't it it's just, just yeah. so impactful yeah, why that. do you think it's been voted again third year running i don't think anyone expected it if i'm honest no one here did a jury maker i don't think we expected labradorite to be your favorite again why do you think it is third time favorite well, for me, it's, I can't speak for everybody else that voted, but I voted for it again because it's so unusual and if you don't know it and people, I mean, I've got um, I, I, it's two necklaces, one sort of like a double strand and then there's a, a more of a choker level and I've got a, a drop that falls down between the two and whenever I wear that, it goes with anything again, I mean, it's the sort of strand that's it's all colours and no colour, so it's very neutral. Yes, exactly. Um, and whenever I wear it, the, 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 the fire in it is so much that people say, who don't know the, 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 um, the gem will say, what is that? So it's a real talking point, and it, it, I should think if you do do craft stalls, it must draw people to your craft stall Absolutely. every time, because it's just so unusual, isn't it? Absolutely. Fleur says it's her, always her number one best selling yes, price point, so they should be. 7.95 but we're not we're dropping it down by a pound the lowest we price we can possibly go to it's just six pounds and 95 pence for you today on that it's fantastic it's fantastic because at the end of the day just like frankie said our our quality is going up but our Definitely. prices aren't no they're not they're no, really not. not they're really not from from what you were getting say three years ago you know, for the quality that we've got now, you'd probably be looking, what, 20 pounds yes. for that high quality? Yeah, definitely. Whereas now, we're doing great quality, you know, six, seven, eight, nine pounds. It's a great, great <laughs> little bargain for you. Um, hello, Pamela and Belinda. It's lovely to see you again, Georgina. Quick question. Quick, 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 quick question. Hello, Becky and gang. Say hello, gang. Hello. hello. Pete, what was that? It was my gang. You were, you were being in a gang I then, weren't you? Didn't want to go too far. Didn't want to go too yeah. far, right, cool. You've just let the, the and gang down. Um, I am doing a bit of retail therapy. Good on you. Um, just a quick question, please. Are JM round nose pliers strong enough to deal with the one mil wire? Oh, yes. <sighs> Definitely. Oh, yeah. I'm using them at the moment. I'm not using the pink ones. I've got the soft grip ones. Yeah, I know what you mean. They're, they're fabulous. Yeah. They absolutely are. They absolutely are. You can use the 1.5 with yeah, the round nose yes you can really genuinely can they're super duper sturdy especially if you've got the comfort grip ones especially if you can still do it with the pink but especially those ones thank you very much you're texting treat yourself retail therapy why not 6.95 for you it's a Sunday doing some topaz on the tea bar it's easy for you today where is it imperial of course it is ah <sighs> 
Exactly. Oh. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's sensational. It's stunning. It's running out. It's almost impossible to get. But it is all worth it. Because this, ladies and gentlemen, is your imperial topaz. Oh, it's light, it's bright, it's freshness, it's zest, it's sunshine, it's, it's joy, it's, it's just everything you would hope for in a strand of this quality and, and, and more because I know the price. You have got 40 carats worth on this strand of Imperial Topaz and boy oh boy is it exceptional. It is absolutely wonderful. What did you say to me then? Sorry, Phil. Oh my goodness, there's no need to price drop this at all really, is there? But we have to. <laughs> so we're going to. You have got here a stunning strand of topaz and it's quite an interesting um, um, topaz, realistically imperial topaz. Because it is a strand, what did you say then, sorry Phil? Alright. Um, ooh, yes, it is a stunning, stunning gemstone from a very tricky location for you to get your hands on. What do you do with this Frankie? Oh, you know you know the um, the rings that we do with the the the, the um, loops the, the, the silver ones. The 925 yes. ones I know exactly. Um, I've actually done that but not with topaz it was with um, little emerald pieces but that I think that would be beautiful um, if you if you set those in so that they look like channel set because you could that they're just delicate enough to, to get in there um, and wire them in and then they the, the the tops of the loops if you see what I mean actually then look like the channels and it's beautiful love that idea yeah really it's, it's really delicate yeah really nice and you can do that here's your original price I'm going to take the price down today though. It's not £39.95. Everyone pays the same and that's just £29.95. I just also say I had a commission for um, a steampunk piece um, and the young lady's birthstone was Imperial Topaz and so I actually put some imperial topaz into a steampunk piece. Yeah, how did it look? It was beautiful because it's that lovely sort of rustic colour. I picked out the darker ones and um, it, it was sort of like a, it was one of my sort of round ones. Like I said, I often do those because they look like a clock and you've got the gears inside and the, whatever the face is. And so you know how in a, in, a, in a good watch, in the movement, you get the sort of diamonds or rubies or whatever. I, mean, it, I, I dotted them in like that in little bits and they looked as in little sections. So they actually looked like part of, part of the mechanism. That's really She clever. was really tough with it. It was Oh, I can nice. imagine. Yeah, you would be. Place. That sounds fantastic. Um, it's a very, very difficult gemstone for us to mine. We're currently behind on the mining process. I know I tell you all the time. Um, but it is, it's such a difficult gemstone to mine. You can only get three people in the mine at any one time and then we can only mine it for a few months in the year. So it's sensational to get it whilst you can. <clears throat> £10 saving. £10 off. Can't just leave. Say, sorry, I was just going to say oh. that, that piece... Um, that I did, uh, I charged £70 for it. It was a steampunk piece and it had probably, how many would you say on that strand? Just roughly. Oh, now you're asking. Sorry, no, just yeah, roughly. That's all right. Um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, maybe about 70. I, I, I had about 15 in there. Mm. Wow, that's really amazing. So I charged her £70 and she was over the moon. Fab. Thank you for that, Frankie. You're welcome. It's on my hands. Have a little look at these carved leaves. Are oh, they pretty? What would you do with these, Frankie? Um, I 
if you've got some lovely um, you know those pearls we had earlier those lovely sort of creamy oh the shell little, yeah the shell yes. pearls if you made little flowers with those and then you had some of the you picked out some of these as leaves um, that would be really nice around a, a neck a neckline piece mm. or you could um, put them on a head pin because they're 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 drilled through the centre, aren't they? They are indeed, yeah. So again, yeah. the same sort of idea. You could have them and roll them, roll the head pin as it's gone through, roll it round and put that um, on some uh, wire. Love and that, that would make idea. a nice bracelet, you know, charms the leaves and the, because they're different colours, yeah. it'd be really quite pretty, wouldn't it? I'd love that idea. Mm. Yeah, I love that idea. It's going to add a real nice kind of a texture, mm. isn't it? Yes. These are, guess what the price is going to be? Six ninety five. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously, very nicer with them. I guess too. Yes, it would definitely. Mm. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, but it's a bit of something different. Uh, red agate, ninety carats worth, all hand carved. Don't forget. Can you imagine that? Imagine having to put all of the individual little veins on here. All the work that goes into that. Every single one, hand carved. Six pounds and ninety-five pence is an absolute dealio for these. That's how these look. That's so big. Oh, I love a good bit of crackle quartz, me. I won't lie to you. I love a good bit of crackle quartz that's got a lot of crackle. Now, I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous, doesn't it? But, you know, sometimes you get the crackle quartz where there's loads of clarity and then you kind of get one or two crackly bits. These are so, so, so crackled. They're beautiful. It gives you this kind of internal glittering effect, doesn't it? This internal glow. And the interesting thing is, if you, if you get these home, Hold them out straight like this and then just gently twist them and you can just see how the light dances inside and sometimes you get a rainbow effect in there as well. It's just the way Mother Nature works and the way she bends the light. But it is so exciting to look at them, it really is. The reason that these are crackled quartz is because we've applied a heat to them. And what happens when you apply heat to, to certain types of quartz at a certain temperature um, for a certain period of time is it actually changes the internal composition of the gemstone and that's why you get this crackled effect. So that's really all we've done to these. We've just applied a bit of a heat to give it those gorgeous crackled effects. 795 on these today that is your prize point 500 carats worth look at the amount you're getting on there it's a huge amount at 500 carats worth of these they're 14 mil so they're big they're but how many is on there two four six eight ten twelve then one five six eight twenty nine i've got on my strands how about those with the soda light becky that sounds so delightful, Frankie. <laughs> did you like what I did for you then? Don't pretend you set that up on purpose for me, Frankie. <laughs> no, you pretended. Uh, you're mm -hmm. right, though. Absolutely perfect with the so delight. Yeah, we'll go with these. Won't they? Colour wise. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. If you were to work with these in a pair, what would you do with them, Frankie? I think I'd have to have a, um, a necklace. Perhaps because they're large, I wouldn't have them all again. Mm. I probably had three or five, probably five, or even seven, just at the front. Yeah, yeah. And then I think I would just drop one of these lovely shades. The twisted um, Yeah, the twisted blue ones, mm. yeah. I think I'd just drop one of those. I love that idea. Center, That's a lovely idea, isn't it? Seven ninety five for those crackle quartz, which you think fab, isn't it? Absolutely fab. So do the soda light like now. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, pieces come out. Better if I can hear the people, isn't it really? <laughs> Have a little look at these. Thirty by fifteen mil. They are big, aren't they? 
I like the way that the shape of these, because it is described as a rectangle, and yes, it is a rectangle, but it's got that twist shape. Never been seen before. Brand new is this. Brand new. Bring. Look at the way the light kind of falls over these, drapes itself around the curvaceous edges of this gemstone. It's beautiful, isn't it? You've got that, you like how they're all different, yeah, you've got some that are kind of really deep, rich blue, you've got some that are speckled and mottled blue, yeah, Phil likes all the different colours you get on these. So you could pick out, I suppose, which one you wanted for what design, couldn't you? You could say, oh, I'm looking for that kind of design, um, really, loads of blue, so I'll pick out the really blue pieces. What were you going to say then, sorry, Frankie? Oh, well, no, I wasn't, I was just agreeing with you, oh. yes, uh, sorry, just agreeing with yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm just so not used to it, Frankie. That's all. What, me agreeing with no, you? No, anyone. Anyone. <laughs> You've got 230 carats of these so delight here. They are brand new twisted rectangles. Hey, put in. Launch price. It's my impression of a rocket launching. It was naff. I'll work on it. Launch price, 6.95. You are having a giraffe. 6095 pence for this time. That is absolutely shocking. Should be £10. What do you think of that? What's, what's your rocket sound to that, please, Brother Pete? <laughs> oh my gosh! I felt like I was at NASA. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that was amazing. What do you think of that as a launch price? Because launch price, normally we take a pound off, don't we? Which is great. It's great. We'll take a pound off, we'll take two pounds off. But ten pounds, it should have been nine ninety five, six ninety five. Message on. Da, 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 da. Hi Becky, great show today. Oh, bless, thank you. Uh, hi Frankie, lovely designs as usual. Hope you're on again really soon as your work is up. always inspiring, lovely to watch. And that is from Josephine. Thank you, Josephine. That's really sweet. I'm on again in March. It's the nineteenth, I think. It's the nineteenth. I think it's a Thursday, and there'll be uh, crochet. Oh, something to look forward to. Keep your eyes. I had my kit. Yes, my kits yesterday. Go on, oh, yeah. Beautiful. Looking good, are they? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Oh, have you started on them yet? No, because I hadn't. I, I, I've got to get. I can only sort of get my head around one thing at a time. I know you, mean. you know, yeah, yeah. I'm getting old. I told you. So, <laughs> so I just uh, yes, I just opened them, looked, and then ready for this week. Ready for it. Yeah. Love that. Well done, everyone who's getting that at the launch price. 695 is fantastic. Quick recap because I've got a few of the amber left. Take a little look. Oh, amber. You glowing delight of brilliantness. Hey, it almost looks a bit like a flame with its shape, doesn't it? it? Actually, Realistically. Yeah. We did a launch price on this as well. Can you believe it? Your price point today for your amber drop was just six pounds and 95 pence today. Look how shocked Pete is. Look at him. <laughs> six ninety-five. Gosh. I'll be honest, the, the shot look on his face was because Sam just brought him some cookies. I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, six pounds and 95 pence. <laughs> for you on that today. That, I've got to say, probably won't be the price point that you will be seeing from this in the future because that was a launch price, so it'll just depend. Um, we've got loads of these in baskets, far too many in baskets for, for a um, producer Phil's liking. So please make sure you're checking these out because it's 40, 40, 40 in baskets. So do check out when you get the opportunity. There's only, what, 30? 30 left. People are missing out. So get it whilst you can. Six pounds and ninety-five pence. We're going over to see Frankie, are we? All oh, right, okay. Don't sound too chuffed, Frankie. No, I'm fine. I didn't. All oh, right, okay. I, did, I didn't get much made, Bex, but never mind. Oh, I'm it doesn't matter. I'm sure, you let me off. That doesn't matter because that dragonfly I've already had. I can see you um, making it. It's absolutely stunning. Oh, I love him or oh, her. 
absolutely adorable. Just to remind you, we had two strands here um, of your beautiful, uh, they're on your screen right now, of your rhodonite. They are beautiful, beautiful so pieces. Yeah. Thank you, lovely. You add the kind of rice bead shape or barrel shape, and you add those really delicate rounds as well and they were faceted how are they both to work with first they're, off? they're lovely i mean i i, I was all right with the little ones again today that's but good they are beautiful and i just love the colors and i cannot believe that the, the little tiny rounds are faceted and they've got big holes through i've got um, point, uh, point four fact, wire through there really because in yeah. fact because they're off the strand if i show you as well oh yeah that's oh that is actually really sizable for yeah. the it's what, a very what, large hole. It really is for the size of the gemstone in particular. And I've got I've got point eight through the um, the barrels and with no problem. That's fantastic. See, the size of that is really quite amazing. How on earth do they do it? It's just wonderful. Isn't Skill, it? dedication, and love for the gemstone. Yeah, it's beautiful, really lovely. Oh, I can put that on a crest. You can, um, can't you? Let's look at your finished pieces. Tell me about that dragonfly, please. Well, um, it just it spoke to me as soon as Phil gave me the bits, and I thought, oh yeah, I was in dragonfly mode anyway, wasn't I? Gosh, you And so I just, I just, he just grew a bit like top things. <laughs> now let's go there again. Sorry. <laughs> Can't keep under control today. Um, so we created these beautiful wings using the two mil. And then yeah. what are these ones? Well, it's it's going to be a pair of earrings, but I've only got around to one. So. You're halfway through a pair of earrings. Yes. That's nice, though. <laughs> um, and how did you manage to finish those ones off? I used the wire again, to point four wire, mm. um, and sort of just did a, a little twist. And then the barrels fitted over the twist on the point four wire, so Wash. that was good. And um, I just made a sort of thingy to hang it so you could see it. I didn't get round to two of them. So. That's all right, though. Aren't they pretty? <sighs> oh, both very pretty designs. The, the, the gemstones are beautiful. Thank you for today, Frankie. Thank you for today, Becky. I already know when you're back on. 19th of March. It is. Mm, for some crochet? Yes. Cannot wait. Thank you for today, Frankie. I've loved it. I am going to be back on Wednesday. Tune in to find out who you're with, because I haven't got a clue. Stay tuned. See you later. Bye. My name's Leslie. Today I've been on the Structured Wire Work course with Gemma Crow. Uh, it's been a fantastic day. I've been used to doing quite a lot of wire work, but always with smaller gauges. And I've been a bit wary of and to know what to do with the thicker gauges. And today Gemma's taken us through a beautiful talk necklace this morning that looked totally impossible when we first saw it, but it's really quite easy. She's made it very easy, very simple steps. Um, and that's turned out brilliantly. And we're now working on bangles, and then we're going to do a ring. So we're covering a wide range of things that's gonna give me the confidence to go back and be able to do some more at home. Join resident designer Sheila for our bridal headwear for beginners DVD. Sheila will guide you through an array of beautiful bridal designs including a pearl tiara, the star hair comb, a twisted spiral tiara and much more. This DVD is packed full of inspiration and helpful hints and tips. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. We here at Jewellery Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say with Jewelry Maker FIFO reviews. Jewelry Maker offers an extensive range of creative workshops for all levels from beginners right through to advanced. Each workshop is run by our approachable tutors who are all friendly, knowledgeable and are specialists in their field of expertise. Our popular courses are tailor-made to suit your needs and to help you get started with a new hobby or to advance your skills onto the next level. We keep the class sizes small to ensure you get plenty of one-to-one -one attention, so book early to avoid disappointment. 
For more information, contact our call centre or visit our website. Red, pink, green, orange, we have a huge offer to satisfy your crackled quartz needs. This manager's special is only on offer for an extremely limited time at a heavily discounted price just for you. Come and bulk up your crackled quartz stash with this amazing deal, perfect for your summer and autumn designs. But we have warned you, this offer won't last long. This fantastic offer launches this Monday only on The Morning Show. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you.